I know, right? Whose balls did I have to fondle to get my very own movie? Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. Marvel just revealed the working title for Deadpool 3, and it's a huge Easter egg for Loki Season 2, as well as Avengers Secret Wars, Kang Dynasty with the incursions, the Time Runs Out storyline that they're adapting for the comics. So it will break it all down. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. We're still doing the special Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and Star Wars giveaway, so I'll name some more winners during this video, too. But Deadpool 3 starts filming in a few weeks. The new working title is Tidal Wave. There are a lot of people that think that this is a reference to a specific event in the Ultimates comics where Magneto seeks revenge for the death of Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver in the wave of the Ultimatum event and basically winds up being the entire Ultimates Marvel Universe versus Magneto. As part of all the X-Men cameos that they're going to feature during the movie, Patrick Stewart revealed a while ago that he'd be back as a different version of Professor X along with a version of Ian McKellen's version of Magneto. In one of the early rumors for the movie, I don't know if this is going to wind up changing or if it'll wind up sticking, but the part of the plot of the movie as part of Deadpool's traveling to different universes as part of his timeline hopping that gets him on the TVA shit list, which we know he's doing, the rumor is that part of that takes him to a universe where Professor X and the X-Men sided with Magneto in his Brotherhood of Mutants and took over the planet instead of trying to stop him like in those original X-Men movies. And it's in that universe that Deadpool winds up working with a version of Wolverine played by Hugh Jackman. And it's their way of doing a more comic book accurate looking Wolverine without trampling or retconning the plot of the Logan movie or Hugh Jackman's previous X-Men and Wolverine movies because he'd be a totally different version from a different universe. Like, for example, how is Wolverine alive yeah. after Logan? Logan uh, takes place in 2029. Mm -hmm. Totally separate thing. Mm -hmm. Logan died in Logan. Not touching that. Whether or not that winds up being the case, I also think the Tidal Wave working title is meant to be a general reference to the overall theme of the plot because Kevin Feige revealed that Deadpool 3 would be this cataclysmic tipping point in the Marvel Cinematic Multiverse in their lead up to Avengers Secret Wars. The whole idea is that they're building towards Avengers 5, Kang Dynasty, and Avengers 6, Secret Wars, even though there are a lot of changes from the comics, Secret Wars is meant to be the culmination of all the incursions mentioned during Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, with the universes colliding with one another, winking out of existence, like destroying each other. That was what Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four was worried about, and at the end of the movie in the post credit scene, why Clea was so upset at him, because he caused an incursion in the Dark Dimension, her home dimension. Stephen, your arrival here confuses and destabilizes reality. The larger the footprint you leave behind, the greater the risk of an incursion. Incursion? An incursion occurs when the boundary between two universes erodes and they collide, destroying one or both entirely. You caused an incursion, then we're gonna fix it. Also side confirming that Doctor Strange 3 plot was going to be him, at least part of the movie, saving the Dark Dimension, saving Dormammu's dimension because he also controls it. But at the end of the Time Runs Out storyline, in the movie version, like the MCU version, it'll either be a variant of Kang or a Beyonder or whichever character they wind up going with that combines the remnants of what's left of reality into a single world. So it's one world for the entire multiverse called Battle World with a bunch of the multiverse characters that are left over that survived all fighting for supremacy. In the movie version of things, it'll be them trying to stop whoever winds up creating Battle World and trying to bring back the multiverse though. And it sounds like part of Marvel's plan with Deadpool 3 is to have Deadpool just muck up his time travel device so much, cause so many Nexus events that they loosely adapt a version of Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe, where he kind of causes a bunch of different incursions to domino effect, destroy reality much, much faster. It'd be very in the tone of Deadpool to accidentally wind up almost destroying all of reality. Like he ends the movie escaping the TVA, like he's successful in running from Mobius, Miss Minutes, the other TVA characters. But because the movie's a loose adaptation of Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe, he almost winds up killing the entire Marvel multiverse. The final title of the movie will be something different that they use in all the marketing, put on all the posters, and it'll have Wolverine in it just because Hugh Jackman Wolverine is such a big character in the movie. Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman were joking about what that would be recently, which at the time when Hugh Jackman posted his video clowning on him, he referred to the movie as Wolverine and Deadpool. So a lot of people thought that that might be the title of the film. I mean, I have to spend a year with him shooting Wolverine and Deadpool. Wolverine and Deadpool. Who's he kidding? Not in your life, chappy. 
in the sly teaser at the end of Ryan Reynolds' video here where he pretends like he accidentally left the camera on and revealed how pissed off he was, throwing shade at the title, not on your life, Chappie. Also calling it Wolverine and Deadpool. The reason why he calls Hugh Jackman Chappie, if you forgot, Hugh Jackman was in the Chappie movie with Sigourney Weaver. It was something else. He had quite the haircut in that. He was also using his real Australian accent. Let's just say the Chappie movie did not perform as good as some of his other films. So Ryan Reynolds was just making fun of him under his breath a little, calling out one of his worst movies. Wolverine and Deadpool. Who's he kidding? Not in your life, Chappie. They do that to each other all the time. Like they make fun of each other's other movies, non-Marvel movies all the time. But because both of them refer to the movie as Wolverine and Deadpool, that does make you wonder if that is the official title of Deadpool 3 or if Ryan Reynolds' reaction post means that they're actually gonna call it Deadpool and Wolverine. Like, there's no way he's going to let them call it Wolverine and Deadpool. Like, no way Wolverine gets to put his name first in the title. The movie's meant to be a direct continuation of the events of Deadpool 2, where Deadpool ended the movie taking Cable's time travel device, visiting several points in his timeline as well as other timelines, changing the past, like killing a variant from his own timeline, the original weird-looking version of Deadpool in Wolverine Origins, he killed a version of himself in another timeline before he made the Green Lantern movie. He messed with baby Hitler. And they're just going to say that he continued messing with timelines in the Fox Marvel universe until eventually he tries to save a younger Wolverine from dying earlier in his timeline, like before the events of the Logan movie. But one day your old pal Wade's going to ask you to get back in the saddle again. And when he does, say yes. And that's how Hugh Jackman's Wolverine becomes part of the plot. When they first meet, they fight like Deadpool versus Wolverine or Wolverine versus Deadpool, however you think about it. Hugh Jackman's been revealing the plot, just joking about how his Wolverine can't stand Deadpool, as you would expect. They talked about this in their big teaser video last year, but part of the joke of the characters, like the comedy of a Deadpool movie with Wolverine, is that both of them have crazy healing factors, so they would just be able to lay into each other, chopping every bit of their bodies off and healing it almost instantly, so the fight would just go on forever. Eventually, the TVA detects all the changes that Deadpool is making to the timelines. He's causing so much havoc, destroying the timelines. The TVA, Mobius, Miss Minutes come after him, and that's how they get involved in the plot. That's how they explain this is a Marvel movie, because those are core Marvel characters now in the MCU. I don't know if Tom Hiddleston's Loki will also have a cameo in the movie, because they're supposed to have so many different cameos in the movie. Let me know in the comments, what do you want the actual title of Deadpool 3 to be? If Wolverine were not in the movie, I would have said they should just call it Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe because it's already a perfect title. But since Wolverine is such a big part of it, I'm fine with them calling it Deadpool and Wolverine. Like if they have to have Wolverine in the title, that'd probably be what they would call it. Just expect Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds to continue joking about what the actual title will be. Like who gets top billing? Will it be called Wolverine and Deadpool or Deadpool and Wolverine until they finally make the announcement? Reportedly, we'll be getting Loki Season 2 later this year, and we won't have to wait till next year. I'm working on a brand new Loki Season 2 trailer video that should post pretty soon. And speaking of the Marvel Universe, because Guardians of the Galaxy 3 just came out, James Gunn also just said that the Deadpool movies are some of his favorite comic book movies of all time. I think coming in at number five, I'm gonna go with Deadpool. The first Deadpool and the second Deadpool actually are two of my favorite comic book movies. They came on the heels of the Guardians film. They were even more of, you know, comedies than the Guardians films are, and they were so well made, so heartfelt and fun, and Ryan Reynolds just kills it. I think Deadpool is a perfect adaptation of a comic book because the comic book is very much tongue-in-cheek, very much breaking the fourth wall all the time, talking to the audience, and I think the movie does that really well, but somehow also keeps it more grounded and gives it a little bit more heart than the comics have. If you could see me, you'd understand. Looks on everything. Looks are everything. You ever heard David Beckham speak? It's like he mouth sex to can of helium. Think Ryan Reynolds got this far on his superior acting method? Love is blind, Wade. No. You're blind. Ryan's such a funny guy. I think it along with like Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man or Christopher Reeve as Superman, he's one of the all-time great comic book, you know, icons. It's really cool to hear him gush about the Deadpool movies. Makes me really excited for Deadpool 3. Congratulations to the giveaway winners from my last couple of Marvel and Star Wars videos, Xavier Ramirez2397 and Brad4231. Please email me on the about page of my channel so I can get your contact details. Everyone click here for all my Deadpool 3 videos and click here for my Loki Season 2 trailer videos. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one.